Hi friends, welcome back to All Squid AC22. Today I'm going to be cooking some tostadas carnacha al estado. This is a watermelon dish. It's really delicious. First, I am going to boil some water. Then I'm going to grab the steak that I'm going to be using for this recipe. I am going to wash it very well because I don't want any bacteria on it. Then once the water is ready, I am going to add the steak and I'm going to let the steak cook for at least two or three hours depending on how soft it is. I want the steak to be very soft, so I'm going to let it cook for three hours. Then I'm going to add some salt, four bay leaves, a little bit of thyme, I almost forgot I needed to add some onion to give it the taste that I'm looking for. This is the salad slash escabeche, which we call it like that, escabeche in Spanish. This is made of cabbage, carrots, onions, and jalapenos. Once we get to it, I'm going to show you what kind of seasonings I'm going to be using for this. But first, let's go ahead and wash the cabbage and the carrots. If you have been a subscriber for a while in our channel, you know it's only my husband, my toddler and I in the house, so I don't make that much food because I don't want it to go to waste and I don't like wasting food. So right here, I'm going to be using a little bit less than half this cabbage because it's a little big for us, but I am going to be sliding this cabbage in very tiny pieces as you can see right here. Now I'm going to peel the carrots. I don't have a vegetable peeler right here, but I am going to do it in the old way like my grandma used to do it. So this is how I do it. Very carefully I'm peeling the carrots because I don't want them to go to waste either. I am just trying to cut the carrot skin only, nothing more and nothing less. In this food container, I have chopped onions and jalapenos that I chopped the night before I started doing this. These are the side of the jalapenos and the onions. I am going to be frying the carrots first because they take a little longer to get cooked before the other vegetables. Now I'm adding the chopped onions, fry them, four to five bay leaves or a little more, now jalapeno, a little bit of thyme, about one spoon sea salt, black pepper, and let everything fry for at least one to two minutes. Now this smells so good already. I tried and it was just perfect. Now I'm adding the chopped cabbage. 
this is a mistake that I made right here because I didn't have a bigger pad to make this uh, excavation. So I was trying to mix everything up. And now right here, while I was mixing this up, my husband showed up and he started pointing at the camera, which he was so funny because he didn't know I was recording. I ended up adding a little bit more of cabbage, so I had to add a little bit more of salt. And now I'm going to add apple cider vinegar to give it the taste that we are looking for. This is the only and last item that I'm using for this escabeche, and it's so good. You let it cool down and then try it and you will love it, I'm telling you. My husband loves it, so we're good to go. Now right here I was checking on the steak. I grabbed a small piece to check if the steak was soft enough, so it was perfect for me. I took it out, I let it cool for a little bit, not too long because that day I didn't have lunch, so I was starving already, and this was dinner. I grabbed two tomatoes to make a tomato salsa. I put them in boiling water, I'm going to let them cook. I am going to chop the steak in small pieces. The steak for these tostadas are going to be very small, so I'm chopping as small as I could for these tostadas. Also, I have a toddler, so he needs to eat as well, and I don't like having big pieces for him either. So right here, I'm going to be chopping a little bit of onion in small pieces to add to the tomato salsa. I grab a small piece of the red bell pepper and I'm going to be chopping this as well. So I'm going to be frying the onion and the bell pepper together for the salsa before I add the salsa to it. I let the two tomatoes cool down in the freezer before I blended them. Now I'm adding some sea salt to them and then I'm going to blend them. Like I said before, I was going to fry the chopped onion and the red bell pepper before adding the salsa to it. Now I'm adding the tomato salsa. And let it cook for at least 5 minutes. Now all the food items are ready and cooked. Now let's go ahead and make our tostadas. First thing, I'm going to be using these crunch tortillas. It's called tostadas. Add the tomato salsa to the crunch tortillas, the tostadas. Then add the steak after you add the salsa. This is up to you how much steak you want to add to your tostadas. Then add the escabeche. I ended up adding more jalapenos because I was feeling that craving for a spicy, a spicy food. So I ended up adding more jalapenos after this. And let me tell you, that food was so good. I As you can see right here, I'm adding a little bit more of the tomato salsa on top because I wanted to add some cheese and this is the last item that goes in the tostadas I challenge you to try this recipe and you will love this recipe you will want to try this probably once a week but I am going to be making it again soon because why not Thank you for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.